Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell button so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or in the internet. In the last episode of Know Your Body segment, we clarified the nature and elements of the solar plexus chakra or the Manipura chakra. In today's episode, we speak about how you can heal the solar plexus chakra imbalance and ways to bring about health and wholeness in your life. Solar plexus chakra healing consists in Removing solar plexus chakra imbalance by the practice of opening, clearing, cleansing and supporting the solar plexus chakra within your body. Thereby restore the natural flow of energy within the region of the solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus chakra imbalance can happen if your solar plexus chakra is overactive or it is underactive. In an overactive solar plexus chakra, there is an excessive energy flow. When your solar plexus chakra is overactive, you are energetically aggressive and manic. You are egoistic and controlling. You are caught up in addictions such as overeating and overindulgence. You are intolerant and excessively competitive. You feel extremely fatigued and you manifest excessive laziness. In an underactive solar plexus chakra, the energy flow is deficient. When your solar plexus chakra is underactive, you are passive and energetically numb. You feel generally tired. You possess low self-esteem and poor willpower. You are insecure, anxious and fearful. You have a poor self-image and lack confidence and faith in yourself. You suffer from inability to focus on serious matters and you lack organizational abilities. Both overactive and underactive solar plexus chakra can also cause physical ailments such as low body weight, poor appetite, stomach ulcers, indigestion, diabetes, eating disorders, and other illnesses related to the digestive system. The best way to tell whether you have solar plexus chakra imbalance is to pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, actions, and physical sensations within your body. Here we present some signs you should look out for that would indicate that you suffer from solar plexus chakra imbalance and you need solar plexus chakra healing. You constantly feel fatigued and lazy. You tend to manipulate others to get what you want. You are often powerless and weak or overly dominate and bully others. You feel insecure and unassertive and lack self-confidence in most situations. You tend to seek approval from others. You suffer from low self-esteem or an inflated sense of self, namely a big ego. You have addictive tendencies such as overeating, overindulgence, and the like. Your body temperature is either very cold or very hot. You struggle to maintain boundaries around other people. You tend to form codependent relationship with others. You suffer frequently from ailments such as gas, constipation, stomach upset, ulcers, diabetes, and other illnesses related to the digestive system. You have a pot belly that is excess weight around your stomach. Now let us talk about some solar plexus chakra healing practices and attitudes. Use solar plexus chakra healing food. Grains such as rice, oats, pelt, and rye. Legumes such as lentils, chickpeas, and beans. Spices such as turmeric, ginger, chamomile, mint, cinnamon, and cumin. 
and yellow fruits and vegetables such as bananas, sunflower seeds, yellow peppers, corns, pineapple, and lemons. Meditation is very useful for chakra cleansing and balancing. For example, a simple solar plexus chakra healing meditation consists in envisioning a yellow sunflower in the area of your solar plexus chakra, that is, in the abdomen below the rib cage. Hold that image in your mind for a few minutes while breathing deeply. Repeating the solar plexus chakra mantra Ram as you breathe in and breathe out in quietness and solitude while focusing your attention on the diaphragm area. Prayerful repetition of solar plexus chakra affirmation such as I can, I will, I have the power to decide, I am strong and courageous, I embrace my strength, I love the person I am, I stand up for myself, I am responsible for my life, I am worthy of love and kindness, and I am whole, can help you to reclaim your personal power. Start each morning with one of these affirmations. Practicing simple stretches such as bending forward or making a deep bow while standing and while lying down, raise both the lower and upper parts of the body and be like a boat facilitates solar plexus chakra healing. Exposing yourself to the sun. Since solar plexus chakra is associated with sun and fire, exposure to the sun facilitates solar plexus chakra healing. You can do this by taking a walk outside in the sun, doing your meditation or yogic stretches out in the open, or doing a little sunbathing with a cup of herbal tea. Step out of your routine life and attempt to do something new, which can infuse new energy, motivation, and vitality in your life. This can heal a deficient solar plexus chakra. Avoid negative thinking and people who bring negativity in your life. You must stop thinking negatively about yourself. Likewise, cut ties with people who constantly discredit, underrate, and badmouth you. Instead, begin relationship with people who support, encourage, and help you think positive. This can help healing both deficient and overactive solar plexus chakra. Avoid wasting your energy, resisting, suppressing, or repressing. Become aware of your fears, anxieties, and concerns, and learn to accept them and let go those things that do not really help you. Acquiring this attitude would help you to heal both deficient and overactive solar plexus chakra. Learning to process your pent-up anger. As pent-up anger affects the proper energy flow, within your solar plexus chakra and make you either helpless and low-spirited or overactive and explosive. Right ways of processing your anger are using exercises such as punching, kickboxing and the like, expressing through dancing, singing and other art forms, or crying it out especially when you are not able to express your anger by fighting back. Cultivating this attitude facilitates healing both the deficient and overactive solar plexus chakra. Stop being a victim and a martyr. For by allowing yourself to be taken over by the martyr or victim syndrome, you go against what solar plexus chakra stands for, that is your personal power and self-confidence. Learning to say no to this mindset helps you to take responsibility for your life and to take the needed steps to make things right instead of blaming others for your trouble. The more you get out of this killer mindset of being a victim or a martyr, the greater healing you will bring to your solar plexus chakra. This attitude can help heal deficient solar plexus chakra blockages. Practicing healthy self-care is vital for solar plexus chakra healing. Since healthy self-esteem is the cornerstone 
of a lively solar plexus chakra you must take care of yourself physically psychologically and spiritually physical self care keeps your body healthy psychological self care helps you to have a healthy emotional life and spiritual self care facilitates to be in right relationship with the divine other persons and your environment right self care calls for true self love and genuine self respect remember no one in the world can care for yourself as you can practice of self care in all these three dimensions would help healing both deficient and excessive blockages in the solar plexus chakra following some of the above mentioned healing practices and cultivating healthy attitudes can bring about genuine healing to your solar plexus chakra thank you for watching this video stay blessed until we see you again with another video